So we have all these testimonials, all these biographies about Michael Lau. Even this one is a is an amazing piece by him, which is the Obama gardener. So that's the Obama version of his art. And his exhibit is just so amazing. Like you have all these original arts in there by him, his sketches. So what else do we have? Like I said, um, Michael Lau didn't start off as a toy designer. He started off actually as a graphic designer. So he did a lot of logo work and it has a lot of his original logo drawings um, as he was brainstorming for his gardener's collection. So those are some of the logo designs he did. Pretty amazing. And it's just so awesome to, to look at what he's done like over the years. You know, like from, from going from a Ken doll and just like remaking everything like, and then getting collaborations with um, X-Large to make these garments for these figurines. And then life size, life size. He would just take mannequins and just take them apart and like remold their, their heads and faces and put clothes on them and have them as a life size um, item in, in his exhibits is pretty amazing. <clears throat> you know, it started with skate culture, then it went into like wakeboard. So this is like his wakeboard collection. And then he has his snowboard collection. So they're all part of the gardeners. And let me see here. Now that's Michael Lau and his crazy 109 exhibit. And he's traveled all around. He's like Japan, Hong Kong. He's hit a, he's hit a couple of places. So that is Michael Lau. Amazing stuff, to me at least. <laughs> So that's that. So this book I'm totally in love with. Awesome. Thank you. So that's one item from Hong Kong. And then, oh, speaking of, this is the DGK packaging for the watch. So purple and black all around. Limited edition, G-Shock, glossy versus matte, DGK packaging for the watch. <clears throat> now, another um, close family friend, he's also a graphic designer, so we do have a lot of in common, and he's a, he's a toy collector himself, so he picked up a few goodies for me out in Asia, which is, um, which I will switch to very soon because my phone totally cracked out the other day, um, the iPhone 4, so this is the iPhone 4 cover, and it brings us back to a little retroness, which is, we have the cassette tape, um, cover which I thought was super cute and he bought a few of these and um, you know had me pick a color so I picked the red one nice and sharp and um, it's an iPhone 4 cover so I thought that was super cute I don't think we actually have this here yet I, I, I haven't seen any of the like so this is totally something imported from Hong Kong um, and I'm going sometime soon so maybe I'll pick a few up and if you guys are interested hit me up let me know and I'll send it your way all right so this is that. And then he picked me up this awesome belt that is just some of my um, favorite colors all combined together, which is the fluorescent pink and the blue and the black. So this is a cloth, heavy duty cloth belt from this brand um, called Che in, in Hong Kong. And it's very... Um, Bape esque. It's not like identical to Bape, but I mean, I guess going out there, which I'm probably gonna take the camera and go explore around. There's a lot, a lot of themed um, shops out there currently. So um, one of which Che. I don't know if you guys are familiar with um, MC Jin. MC Jin is uh, an all Asian American rapper that had the balls to go on to 106th and Park and do Freestyle Fridays. And he won consecutively for, I don't even know, like three months straight or something. And was then signed to Rough Rider, but I don't think things really flew because that whole label just went to a flop. But um, 
he went back to Asia, he went back to Hong Kong, and now he's a huge hit there. Um, not only rapping English, but rapping in Chinese. And he's an American, he's an Asian American. So for him to completely freestyle in, in Chinese is just utterly amazing to me. And um, not knowing how to read it or write it, he totally pushed himself to doing so. So this brand totally took him and he became a spokesperson for them. So he's all over the place in Asia right now. Um, and this is the brand Che. So that is a new exclusive item that was brought back to me by John. Thank you, John, from a um, family friend of ours from Hong Kong. So this is a lookbook that he also grabbed for me because he knows he's, I'm very into this street culture, street brand culture thing. So this is the lookbook for Che, I believe. So that's that. And let me show you some of their stuff. I mean, it's so vape-esque, like, when you look at it, but I'm sure the quality difference is there. But it's very, very similar, as you can see. And um, you th you look at this and you think, oh, like, bootleg. Not even. Like, these, there's stores, like, chain stores of these places. But here's the thing. Like, vape is very exclusive. You have one flagship store in one location. Um, I think the newest one was London, or was it Miami? Or, was no, it was L.A. was the newest one. But I guess Che is a chain, you know, like chain store. I wouldn't say such as The Gap, but, you know, along the lines, if you can find more than one store everywhere, it's it's that. So I'm sure the quality is quite different, but if you're... So if you're going for that look and you're not really looking to spend all that much, I guess this would be the perfect option. So let me show you some of their other stuff. I mean, I was I would say it's a cross between, like, Bape and American Apparel. That's what it looks like. They do the whole rugby and the plaid shirt look. And then, I mean, what's different is that they sell the, um, the extra long hoodies for, for the ladies, for the chicks. I mean, some of you may or may not be looking for that over here from New York, but that's something. Because they don't make that here. I know that for sure. Like um, a longer hoodie for the girls. That also cuts in from the waist. So that's one. And then you have this with the cardigans and such. So this is Che. This is what they do. I mean, I'm looking forward just to go check it out and see what they have. Um, Varsities and parkas, they have that too. So I guess they're they're just wider in collection. Kind of like a unique low. Yeah along those lines. I mean, they have parkas, accessories, so this is the parkas. Those are the options. And then you have essentials, which is like their accessories. So you have the basics, the hats, the, the phone chains, and the water bottles or whatnot, and the tote bags. So that's what's made up of Che. And then you have the scarves and the belts, and which is the option of the belts over here. That's pretty cool. So my belt is from Che, and I'm quite happy about it because of the 